I'm wanting you to hear that the Holy Spirit is shaking the tree. He is shaking the tree. There is a lot of ripe fruit on the tree. And I, sometimes you can get ripe fruit off the tree just by shaking the tree. Just shake it and it'll fall. And that's exactly what the Holy Spirit is doing right now. Paul says to his followers here in Corinth that he doesn't want their belief to be based on what he knows, but on what they know. What you know is what's going to carry you through the dark times. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. We're still there. Just keep on going down the next two verses, 6 and 7. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. He's already given that. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. So the power clearly is God's power. It's not our power. It's God's power, but he has made it available to us to flow through us, and we have access to that power all the time, all the time. The reason we don't see it is we don't bother to turn on the switch. We just walk into the dark room and scream, it's dark in here, it's dark in here, when there's five light switches that will just fix all of these lights into full brightness and in a moment come out of that darkness and into the brightness. We, the body of Christ, must understand, and I'm including myself here, how urgent and important it is that we stop depending on anything, anywhere, and anyone other than Jesus Christ manifested in us personally. 